Das war die Ligna 2000. Our subject today, best of Ligna 2017. Hello and welcome to Ligna TV. We are taking stock of Ligna 2017 and are having a look at the most interesting developments at the global leading trade fair for the woodworking industry. Here in the Ligna TV studio, we've discussed key Ligna 2017 topics such as surfaces, furniture production and CFRP processing. The subject of Monday's program? CFRP processing. What are the challenges? Wood is much, much closer to CFRP than to metal. How can I transfer things from wood to the CFRP sector? As machine manufacturers, we are of course particularly called upon here. We're much closer to CFRP, closer than we think ourselves. On Tuesday, the experts discussed furniture production of the future. At the beginning was the vision. Something new every day, always batch size one. Industry 4.0 doesn't only mean that your own systems are running, but also data security, process reliability, predictive maintenance. For us, system availability plays the biggest role. With the operational consistency, of course, we will get better and more effective. We have to deliver on the dot. Craft skills at craft prices. Industry 4.0 is not an isolated solution, because we're working with our systems worldwide. Innovative surfaces. That was the subject of the program on Wednesday. Surfaces have an effect just like materials do. We are designing living spaces. Digital printing is indeed a great opportunity, and we now have the first industrial machine that can provide that at a suitable level for mass and industrial production. That's another trend we can observe. We can see that function is increasingly becoming a part of services in buildings, in furniture, in wall and building cladding. Those functions can either be digital or part of the material itself. When I see wood, I want to feel that it is wood. What I would like to see in service technology is that we improve our processes, that technology develops to enable these artistic craft things to be possible on an industrial scale, that processes are more reliable, that we can serve customers better, that we raise awareness for materials, and I hope that customers will be prepared to pay for it. On Thursday, it was all about the subject of parts suppliers and the question, blessing or curse for carpenters. The craft sector is changing at the moment. We truly see ourselves as a partner and not as a competitor. Cooperation does not have to mean for everyone that I buy in. The market is actually much bigger. There is still sufficient production potential there despite these suppliers. There are still enough workshops there. I think it's up to ourselves to have that trust. We can do much, much more on the market. Why should I be scared about that? Talk to each other. How can I secure my piece of the pie? I think we're all facing the same problem. In coming years, we need to think about how we can motivate young people into the craft sector. Lack of expert workers. Of course, that's also a cause for concern there. The world is becoming increasingly complex and we can see every day how difficult that is. Ninety-seven percent of visitors were expert visitors, many of whom from abroad. We asked them how they liked the trade fair. Ligna has always been the best woodworking exhibition in the world. There's more suppliers than uh, in the other shows that have been exposed, you know, the one in Atlanta, the one in Vegas, uh, the one in uh, um, Milan, They're, those shows don't have the number of manufacturers and suppliers uh, that Lina has. Best innovation uh, in the world, uh, best technology, high quality, that's what you can find here. It's absolutely indispensable for me. This is the fair that has the widest range, so I can see all the major players here where I cannot see in other fairs. I think uh, the biggest advantage that you can meet all different people at the uh, short term amount of time at the same place. Ligna is international, so there are machine manufacturers from all over Europe, from all over the world. I save travel expenses, which is perfect. They send their developers, and that's our motivation for being here. With me now are the organizers of LIGNA, Christian Pfeiffer, LIGNA Director Deutsche Messe and Dr. Bernhard Dier, Managing Director of the VDMA Woodworking Machinery Trade Association. Mr. Pfeiffer, how did LIGNA 2017 go? 
Ligna 2017 was outstanding, not only because we had 93,000 people here to look at the future of the woodworking industry, but also because we had over 40,000 people from 100 countries. So we're talking about 45% of guests here from abroad, particularly Asia, Europe and a big boost in visitors from the USA. Mr. Dear, what did the exhibitors have to say about Ligna 2017? Well, I can only second that very positive summary. The exhibitors are very, very happy. They came with very high expectations and those expectations have been more than fulfilled. That's what we're hearing. So the exhibitors are very happy. The structure of Ligna has been changed. How successful was the new layout concept? Well, the new layout concept has really been met with, I would say, enthusiasm. I've rarely been approached directly with such positive feedback. So it's not just a question of being able to tick that off. It was really great. Mr. Pfeiffer, what feedback did you have from Craftsman? 2017 particularly focused on Craftsman. There's only positive things that we can say here. At the moment, the craft sector is very saturated, of course, also due to the economy. But people who are looking to invest, they were here, they were buying, they were looking. It was outstanding. It was a great trade fair. Mr. Dear, what impulses do you expect from Ligna for the rest of the year? Well, we came with a very good order volume, and that applies to all exhibitors, not only from Germany, but also internationally. And as we've seen in the discussions that we've had, we can see a big boost in incoming orders, particularly in the high-tech and the premium sectors. So that really is a great boost. Thank you very much, Mr. Dier and Mr. Pfeiffer. The global leading trade fair for woodworking and processing once again set new trends. And again, there were countless innovations and highlights on 128,000 square meters of exhibition space. Well, Ligna 2017 is my Ligna number 15 and uh, I have to be very straightforward with you, was the best of my career. Uh, large uh, customer uh, entrance, uh, very organized uh, uh, layout. Our colleagues at the trade fair stand are really impressed by the new stand concept and we had lots of customers here and they were also impressed. Overall, Ligna has been a complete success for us. This is a new arrangement and we are happy we have uh, a lot of customers to come so it, it is a good uh, setup. Ligna 2017 has gone very well for us. We had a well-attended trade fair stand. The craft section was always full. We had a lot of visitors to the Innovation Center. And it's been proven, if you have innovations, new things to show, then you can attract people from all over the world. And now it's time for all of us at Ligna TV to say goodbye. After another very successful project this year, over 30 people have been working for seven days to keep you up to date with over 60 films. We've had great fun once again. I hope you enjoyed watching too. I wish you all the very best. Take care and see you again at Ligna 2019.